Well, I wasn't lying. I said lots of rugby to come. The 10 series is a dynamic multiple team sports event that is hosted now, we know, across cities, across the country. And for the first time ever, East London will be hosting the Eastern Cape 10s, which is a sporting festival. There's no other way to describe it. Hosted in the beautiful city during the December festive season. Here to chat a little bit about what we can expect. Please welcome Springbok and EC 10s organiser, Skara Untabeni, <laughs> and fellow um, tournament managers, Lee Fagana and Naledi Mdiyesha. Ah, guys, welcome to it. Um, you might be the most interviewed person on Express, dude. I think, <laughs> and at them, so you see me every time I see you, I'm like, please just talk to me, bro. Um, but I, I love the fact that we connect over these cool sporting events, and Tens is awesome, man. As someone who's played through a very social kind of track yeah, in yeah. Tens and broken a few bones along the way, there is nothing better than being able to play rugby against some, some pretty hot sides, and we want to see rugby being developed in the Eastern Cape, man. The legacy of this World Cup must be millions going into that area. That's how I, I feel. But... Um, What's the vision for the tournament here? What, what are you hoping to achieve with EC10s? I think, I think there's two parts to it. I think the one part is obviously uh, what you're saying, what we were talking about earlier, the development side and you know, trying to find a future star or trying to develop a future star. You know, we want to look one, back one day and say, geez, I remember that kid you know, 10 years back <laughs> and now he's, he's, he's a seer or a mapimpi. And I think the other side is obviously like like we have here in Cape Town, you know, um, where everyone comes together and and has a bit of a jaw and a lot of camaraderie. And especially with the Eastern Cape, I think um, everyone's coming back home. Everyone comes back home in December, so um, there's there's a lot of uh, especially with with all the schools, there's a lot of rivalry. So we're hoping to make it. We call it Amakotuka, like a homecoming. Love that, Events, and the timing yeah. is very, very good. Mm. It is a festival. There also, oh, not only rugby, but there'll be netball represented there as well. Um, and uh, we love the fact that I've been able to like share a field with like Springbok legends, and that's part of the fun. What big names can we expect at this at this year's tournament? Sure. So um, this year's tournament for the mm. netball on the netball side, we can expect names such as Ozanel mm. Um She's she's quite a big name in the netball um, in the netball fraternity. We've got the likes of Simim Daka. Unfortunately, her knee's out, so she won't be playing, but she definitely will be around. She'll be on the sidelines. And is super keen to be involved in the development clinic that will be happening on the Friday before the event. What's the growth path here, Leaf? And what, what are you hoping to achieve out of this? You get a, an opportunity, yes, to, to kind of have this amazing jaw, this festival, but you guys want this to create an identity with this tournament. What's the, the kind of five-year plan here? So in the next five years, the, the big goal is basically just making um, Eastern Cape great again in terms of the rugby with the Kings, with Border, so, so that guys, when they do come back, they actually feel like, you know, I can actually come back and play for Border one day. And for the likes of Skara and them, they are giving back to the Eastern Cape. That's the most important thing is that we want, we want this to be something socially, but also we want to grow it and also get, give it to the youngsters. You know, we, need, we, need, we don't want youngsters always um, playing in a competitive type of high school game. They need to have fun and also have express that... Express themselves, Express themselves, you know, throw the ball around and just, you know, <laughs> that's Eastern Cape rugby right for you. And and the one thing that we like is singing, Iquicho. Iquicho is, is essentially a big thing in the Eastern Cape. Guys are singing, guys are watching the netball rugby. It's just, it's just exciting. Um, you've kind of pointed at that, but what what's... For the uninitiated, for the fans, because you want people to go out there and enjoy the social element of it um, as much as anything else, and take in some pretty exciting rugby. What what, what picture can you paint, Scott, for the, the the weekend of of festivities? Yeah, I think there's going to be quite a bit. Um, we've got some artists that haven't been confirmed, but mm -hmm. hoping will join us. Uh, we'll have a few MCs as well, jumping castles, um, like face paint for the kids and. Obviously, the beer tent. So we're trying to make it like a. Glad you threw that in right at the end. There, you can, you can start with the beer tent. 
<laughs> no, we obviously want to make it a, a family vibe as well. And yeah, completely. Yeah, just, not just a draw, we really want everyone to be part of it and everyone to, to enjoy themselves and, yeah, not, not exclude anyone. Um, the, and medics. There will be medics. Mm, okay. Yes, 100%. Yeah, medics, some, some great medics. <laughs> I, I laugh because as, as a, you know, filled with delusions of grandeur, when I go and play and say, we'll play like a couple of games of touch rugby and then our little social team will be mm. drafted against like the, the Krugersdorp rugby team that's just come off a season of club rugby and it gets real very quickly. Yeah. Your first tackle, your first run. Um, but there is something truly special about tens. What is it about tens and a tournament like this that you think has sparked so much interest? Why is it such a cool thing to be a part of? I think what makes it amazing is just the, the, the ambiance. And if you've been to a TENS before, you know the kind of vibe it is to have mates there, some friends you haven't seen in a long time yes. as well. So it's just families there, your friends are there. It's, it's one big fun day, you know, and you get to catch some sport, which is, I mean, obviously why most people come through. So we're super excited about that. The Eastern Cape hasn't seen an event of this kind, and um, a sporting now, an yeah. event, and it needs it now. And what greater time than to do it now that Sia has bought the web Ellis home for us. So we're excited, and I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah, and so nothing of the, the secondary spend, the investment in the area, what it means for the city as well. Um, but just most importantly, you can catch some amazing ruggers, some incredible netball, see some really brilliant young stars make a name for themselves. And yes, there is a beer tent. You can have an absolute <laughs> jewel. Um, but I've, I've always taken my boy to the tournaments and he loves yeah, it, man. Yeah. So it's such a cool family vibe. Um, no doubt we'll have a chat to you um, again around the, the tournament. But all the best of luck with final preparations. And good luck yeah. with camp, brother. Good luck with yeah. camp, dude. <laughs> Take yeah, another deep not breath. Excited. Not excited. Uh, but of course, we'll bring you all of the details uh, for the East London Tens. The EC Tens is coming uh, to the Windy City.